How Sewage is Treated by kscience.com This diagram represents a neighbourhood and every house is connected to the sewage system by pipes. Every day, each household will release wastewater from the house to the pipes and this is what sewage is, wastewater from homes and businesses. We're going to learn how this sewage is treated and sewage treatment involves a series of steps which we're now going to learn about. Step one is screening. This diagram represents a large metal grid which the sewage flows through. Large objects and grit are trapped and the sewage then continues flowing along onto the next stage. The next step is primary treatment and the sewage flows from screening into this tank and this is known as the first circular tank. Sludge forms at the centre of the tank as the solid sediments are allowed to settle to the bottom. The solids settle to the bottom forming a sludge and above this sludge is a watery liquid known as an effluent. The solid settling to the bottom forming the sludge is known as the primary sedimentation as this is the first major sedimentation which takes place in the treatment of sewage. This watery liquid, known as effluent, forms above, and although there is no visible solid matter, this effluent contains potentially harmful microorganisms, which we are not able to see with the naked eye. This sludge flows to a separate treatment tank, where the anaerobic digestion of sludge takes place, and you can learn how this happens in a separate video. The effluent then flows into the next tank where biological treatment takes place. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. The third step is secondary treatment. The effluent flows from primary treatment and into this tank, where during secondary treatment, biological treatment takes place, which involves the aerobic digestion of the potentially harmful microorganisms in the effluent. These harmful bacteria are bad, and to remove them, we add useful bacteria. These useful bacteria feed on the harmful bacteria and the remaining organic matter by aerobic digestion, where we only have the useful bacteria left once all of the harmful bacteria has been digested. Aerobic digestion is in the presence of oxygen, which is why it is aerobic digestion, as aerobic means with oxygen. The tank is then aerated as air is bubbled through the wastewater. When the tank is aerated, air is bubbled through the wastewater and this can take up to several days. When the tank is aerated, this removes dissolved gases and other substances. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. The fourth and final step is the final treatment. In the final treatment, the wastewater flows from the biological treatment into this tank, where secondary sedimentation takes place as the useful bacteria is allowed to settle to the bottom. This is the second time sediment has been allowed to settle out, so it's called secondary sedimentation. This useful bacteria settles out to the bottom of the tank where it flows out of the bottom of the tank and is sent to the sludge for anaerobic digestion. Or the useful bacteria is recycled as it is sent back to the biological treatment. So this useful bacteria can also be recycled 
as it is sent back to the biological treatment for the aerobic digestion of the breakdown of potentially harmful microorganisms. Now finally, this treated wastewater can be discharged into a river if safe. So this treated wastewater can be put into a river or discharged into a river if safe to do so. However, the problem is rivers are sensitive to changes. So if not yet safe, further treatment of the wastewater is needed. If the wastewater is not yet safe to be able to be discharged into a river, it needs to be sterilized by adding chlorine, which kills bacteria, using UV light or adding O3, which is ozone, which also kills other bacteria as well. Only then can the treated sewage water be discharged into the river. The treated sewage water is then discharged into the river once safe. Remember, chlorine is toxic and has the ability to kill fish and other organisms, badly affecting the environment. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Pause the video here to practice the keywords. The answers will follow. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. If stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. And don't forget to visit kscience.com for more videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com and don't forget to like and subscribe.